Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. season in the making what a moment and a career of extraordinary moments he's done it again that is cranked deep left Gardner leads. from Flushing Queens baseball from the home of the Mets City Field today it's the finale of this four game set between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Mets Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Matt Harvey gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Digging in, Jose Peraza. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Here's the one and one pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Under it, Lagares, and there's one away. And a moment now to glance at the Reds' lineup card in this one. What's the key for them if they want to split this series, HR? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And this will be fouled away. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Reyes is up with it. On to first and there are two down. Batting third. So stepping in, Joey Votto Joey comes in currently Votto. second on the team in home runs. Bases are empty here with two men out. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. One, two, three, go the Reds. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Brandon Finnegan will be the one towing the rubber for the Reds. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. That's basically giving up a run and inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Pozart is there. Pro on to first in time, one away. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Ready on one and two. Hit back up the middle. Cozart a couple of steps to his left. He's got it. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Now batting, Michael Conforto. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Yeah. 
And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. And that's turned away here in the first. We'll head to the second at City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. At the plate, Adam Duvall. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. Seven hits in 13 tries. He also has one home run. Here's a high pop-up. Wright is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And that brings up Scott Shebler. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Two strikes now from Harvey. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there. But and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Reds are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now in the box, Joannis Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll go as the Mets' first hit of the ball game. The relay, and he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. You think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now? He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. A called strike over the outside corner. Matt, in last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job. Driving guys in with runs in scoring position. Right here, you got a guy in scoring position. You got to capitalize and drive in. If you swung at a bad pitch last night, get a good pitch to drive right here. The 2 2 now to right. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Shevler ranging back. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Reds. And I'm looking at Eugenio Suarez. This guy came up as a shortstop, moved to third, so now he's got all those in his bag of tricks. He can play both spots. But the thing that's interesting about him, he's become quite a hitter. Most people thought he was just going to be all glove and no offense. Now we got a complete player. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up on the backhand. Only play is going to be at first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Hey, that's good hitting right there. Put the ball in play and let the guy trot home from third to put your team on the board. Good baseball. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. One and two, here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hamilton on the move. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. 
So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We played two full. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Back at City Field in Flushing, Queens, as we are ready for the third inning in this one. Now at the plate, Eugenio Suarez. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Popped high in the air. Cabrera is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So with one gone for him here in the inning let's check out our current standings and you can see they enter play with a two game lead in the division race. At the plate Sean Zaraga and there you see his righty lefty splits and how they have played out so far this season. Bases are empty one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Rivera takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Batting ninth. Striding Center. in. Brandon, Brandon Finnegan. Two away Finnegan. in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. Who would have thought it Matt eight up eight down and you give up the now first base hit to Second the other baseball. pitcher. Whole baseball thing. can be a weird a sport. In now Jose Peraza tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. One left for Cincinnati. They still trail one nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Fielded by Kozar. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. So with one gone, we take a look at the current standings entering play. And it's not all that pretty as you can see these guys are well back in the division race, already looking forward to next year. Digging in now, Matt Harvey. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. And a leaping try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center, the base hit. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter. Perfect count to put him away. Tried to elevate the, the fastball, just seven, didn't get it up there play. enough. Jose Reyes. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. Line toward the gap in left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out, seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Three and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now both runners on the move. Swing and a liner. Foul. Right. 
working for the punch out and the offering. Ground ball left side. A tag for one. On to Votto, a double play, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Three innings complete. The Mets are out on top, one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Billy Hamilton. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. Takes a knee-high fastball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. He fouls it straight back, and whoa, that almost landed in our booth. Now another one-two. And a fastball just a bit up. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Conforto has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. The first baseman, number 19. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Sharp oh, that slider that time, just missed inside. There's that tight slider right there, just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. Ready with another 2 2. High in the air into shallow left center. Ligar is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. Now batting. Right Riding in once Adam. again, Adam Duvall comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now that's a nice pitch. He ran that in there about mid 90s and put it past him. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2 2. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike three, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Reds. It remains 1 0. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Really good late oh, fight on that slider number. right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. He just sports that ball off the wall. And now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Into the box, David Wright. Runners off for second. Just hung in there on that one. Another payoff pitch. He's running again. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Well hit and run right there. The runner still and gets the second. The ball doesn't get the outfield, but the hitter gets a base hit. In a sense, it was a successful play, but it's not exactly what they wanted.
Standing in now, Travis Darno. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Now batting, first baseman. Ready for another chance. TJ Rivera. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's the one and two delivery. This is line to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Cespedes rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We played four full. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he hung that one. And man, did he bang it. Just didn't keep it fair. Fouled straight back, and that got up here to the press box. Another 1-2 delivery. Liner towards second. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. A look at our line score here through the first four, and as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. And that brings up Scott Shevler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Eugenio Suarez. And he gets the call there, three and one. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on, a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Yeah, maybe a Go shot back, here now Catch with two as they finally Gone. get another base runner on. He stranded six in a row prior to this point, so he's had his way with these guys for the past couple of innings. In now, Sean Zaraga. Swung on and missed three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Ready with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Reds leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. Here's Juan Lagares. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a soft liner. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Well, there's a nice little soft liner. Oh, I know it's a little off base hit. It wasn't hit as hard as you'd like to, but sometimes that little soft liner starts rallies. Into the box now, Matt Harvey. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. The Digging in and looking for more, Jose point. Reyes. A hit in two tries so far. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. The one and two pitch. Hard sinker misses two and two. 
Two runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Grounded to short. Throw on to first, two gone. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. As Drupal Cabrera. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Digging in for his second at bat, Brandon Finnegan. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Jose Peraza. Good waste pitch, one and two. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there, and now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch, and it's really working out for him. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The batter number six. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the pitch. Fastball called strike. One and two. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Ready on one and two. He pops him up. Toward the left side of the infield, and Wright will make the catch to retire the side. Reds are down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Looking to send him packing again. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw, and he's safe. Eight game streak. He's swinging the bat really well. 52, Johannes Saspedes. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds' dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. They'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Blake Wood is on now yet again this season as this will be his 95th appearance of the year. Wow. Joanna Cespedes will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. And that misses two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Two and one now to Cespedes. Grounded back up the middle. 
And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Boy, that's a big RBI single right there. As well as their pitcher is throwing right now, 3 nothing might be all he needs to bring it home. Into the box, David Wright. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially Catherine. over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. In now, Travis Darno. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. And that ball's not intentional. That was not, not even a fastball. Relax, relax now, people. I know we get excited when the ball's up and in. And he misses ball. again, ball three. T.J. Rivera is on deck. Set. Here's the 3 1. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the throw comes into third, but it's not in time, and it'll be scored a sack fly and an RBI. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. They've got two already home in the inning, and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Fastball right back to the mound. He'll send it on over to first and a big out there as that keeps the runner anchored at third with two away now. Center fielder number 12. Digging in once again. Juan Lagares. One for two on his line so far in the game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Duvall is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. We're through six full. Mets out in front, four to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. In is Joey Votto now. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And this is swung on and missed by Votto, and he's retired for the first out. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Stepping in now, Adam Duvall. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Standing in now, Zach Kozart. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one.
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Boy he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Cespedes is there. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. One two three go the Reds. They trail here four to nothing. Tim Adelman gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tim Adelman. Digging in to try it again. Matt Harvey. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Ready on one and two. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Duvall over to his right. One out. The batter number seven. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. Now it's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Hamilton is there, two gone. The shortstop, number 13. Ready once again as Dribble Cabrera. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Hard hit and deep toward the right field line. And that'll make him one for four in this one. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. You still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Outside, two and one. A runner on first with two away. Called strike two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A two run blast to straight away right field number 22 on the year as they pile on it's now six to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he lays off again, ball three. Ready on three and one, here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? High in the air out to center field. Hamilton is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. We're through seven this afternoon, and this is now a six-nothing ball game. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 1 and 2 pitch. 
And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, Eugenio Suarez. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And another foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Cabrera there for this one is short. In time to first, and there are two away. Up next for Cincinnati. Digging in the switch hitter, Sean Zaraga. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. He'll try again, one, two. Here's a swing and a high pop up. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. Reds are down in order. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Trying to pick things up where we left off. David Wright, two for three with a double on his line so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now 1 and 2. The pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Hamilton. He's there and records the first out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a pop-up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. One out, nobody on. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Again, a one-two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Hamilton. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. T.J. Rivera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Two out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Hamilton. And the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it 6 zip. You're Jerry Spamilia takes the now ball now in inning number York nine, Mets. looking to close number the door. Jerry Spamilia. Hernan Ibarin is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth and with his club already well down he'll just need to try and get on base here drill down the line but a foul ball one and two now grounder down the line at third but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two the one two pitch and a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. Hit toward the right side. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. 
Now batting. Striding in once Second again, reason. Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And he takes a cold strike, too. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Jose Peraza becomes the first out of the inning. Billy Hamilton. Stepping in, Billy Hamilton. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Set to deal on two and two. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Line to the right side. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got a hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can post to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Six-nothing, the final shutout score today. Matt Harvey earns win number seven on the season, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs on 12 hits. No errors.